Kelly Ayotte is the former senator from New Hampshire, U.S. Senator, and uh, she is now a candidate, one of the Republican candidates for governor of New Hampshire. Uh, Chris Sununu is quitting after, I think, four terms or five terms. And uh, she's she's running against a uh, a, a, a woman, uh, the the uh, mayor, former mayor of uh, of Manchester, who uh, has been endorsed by uh, Mara Healy. It's, and uh, Mara Healy uh, the other day said uh, about the rape, the alleged rape of a disabled girl by a uh, an illegal alien from Haiti. It is unfortunate. From time to time, things will happen. And uh, Kelly Ayotte, well, I'll let Kelly Ayotte explain what she said after she read that uh, quote from uh, Mara Healy just kind of shrugging off the uh, this, this horrific incident in Rockland. Uh, Senator uh, Ayotte, uh, thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. So tell us, uh, tell us what you said and what the, why, the, why it's so controversial, what you said. Oh, well, it's, it's great to be on the show, Howie. And what I said is, you know, I was the attorney general, I was a former prosecutor, and when you say things like from time to time things happen about rape, especially uh, from people who are not even supposed to be in our country, it's, it's outrageous. And my opponent, Joyce Craig, uh, has been endorsed by Maury Healy. So I asked her, you know, what do you think about her statement and don't you think you should denounce her endorsement? And, you know, Howie, I heard crickets. In fact, we've been pressing her for over 200 days about will you tell the voters where you stand on sanctuary policies well she won't say anything about it you know why howie because she's for them and we know these policies you know lead to situations where unfortunately we saw what happened in georgia with that that poor um you know girl lake and riley um you know so these are the situations that you know we i look at what is happening in massachusetts and how you know what one of my campaign themes is it's don't mass it up so, you know, we can't have... And we all know what you're talking about, Kelly. We all know. Exactly. We all understand it. You don't have to be from New Hampshire to, to understand it. <laughs> well, you see it. You see what's happening. We're housing illegal immigrants in at Logan, youth facilities, and then, of course, this horrible rape um, that happened for this 15-year-old disabled girl. And to have, you know, the governor callously say, oh, things happen. No, this is a rape. And you'd think that my opponent in New Hampshire... Uh, Joyce Craig, no, she's embraced Governor Healy's endorsement, and I don't want her to bring those policies to New Hampshire. And she won't tell the voters where she stands, but we know with that endorsement, she's going to bring the policies that we've seen uh, in the Bay State that are causing problems uh, down there. I want to ask you about something else that just came out today, the uh, the, the latest uh, New Hampshire rankings in uh, Wallet Hub, which is a uh, you know pretty, pretty big uh, – organization and they rated new hampshire has again been named best state for taxpayer return on investment roi ninth consecutive year that the granite state has taken the top honors in the analysis and uh you know i was just reading a a column uh from a new hampshire journal uh so joyce craig and and the other uh the other candidate the democrat have to explain again why it's time for a change when the state and the economy are already performing uh, at so well yeah, that, that's right. How we, if you look at our state, we don't have an income tax, a sales tax, no death taxes. Uh, we've reduced the Republican legislature and the governor have reduced business taxes. This is a very uh, pro-taxpayer state. And that's really what's at stake in this election, because the Democrats that are running for governor, uh, you know, they take us in a very different direction. And again, we don't want, with all due respect to our neighbors, we don't want to become our neighbors because we have the best return for taxpayers here in New Hampshire. And to me, that's the New Hampshire advantage. It's, it's what we need to preserve and fight for. But it's not something we can take for granted because we, we saw, I mean, look at what has happened in Massachusetts with this so-called millionaire's tax. You've seen a out, you know, an outflow of money from the state as a result of that. Yeah, we're number 41. You're number one and we're number 41. <laughs> right, exactly. That says it all. That Now, you, you know, of course, that makes sense why we have buttons that say don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah. And, you, you know, I, I think another thing you've been saying is uh, New Hampshire is one election away from becoming Massachusetts. That's I think that's that's another uh, tringent observation. I mean, that's true, I think. 
it is true because if you have different leadership, you know, we've had Governor Sununu in office for the last eight years. And when he was in office and the Democrats actually had control of the legislature, thankfully the Republicans have had control the last few years, you know, last, you know, four years. But he, there was a term where he, they had control and he vetoed almost 80 bills. He vetoed things that would have led, you know, income tax, taxes, all kinds of things that if that corner office were to be in the hands of, you know, a Joyce Craig or a Cindy Warmington, you know, both of those women, they don't share the, the fiscal philosophy uh, that really makes our state so special. Yeah. And uh, my texters are pointing out that, uh, you know, when uh, during the uh, BLM riots and arson and looting sprees in 2020, she said uh, uh, that's she was talking about the fires. And she said, uh, yes, that's how forests grow. Remember that? Oh, my. uh, Oh, that's so troubling. Really crazy stuff. I mean, and then, you know, but my opponent in the governor's race in New Hampshire, happy to have her endorsement. Of course, she doesn't want to talk about it now. Uh, but she's obviously, those are the policies she aligns herself with and not what we want uh, in New Hampshire. And for the people of New Hampshire, you think about our live free or die state motto, it's the opposite of live free or die. And I think it's really important that we fight to preserve that. Yeah. And fight to preserve no income tax and no sales tax. No income tax, no sales, no death taxes. Like, you know, government works for the people, not the other way around. Uh. I don't know. So, how could people become involved in your campaign? And I know you have a Republican opponent in the in the uh, in the fight, uh, Chuck Morse. But how can people become involved in your campaign, Kelly Ayotte? Uh, you can become involved by going to my website, Kelly for New Hampshire dot com, Kelly F O R New Hampshire dot com, and how we, they can also check out. I've laid out my positions on that website. Uh, this is really an important race because we are one election away from becoming Massachusetts. But I'm going to fight to make sure that doesn't happen. So I'd love your listeners to check out my website and what I stand for. And we're not going to mass it up, my friend. <laughs> and, you know, my, my listeners, and so they're still, they're still texting in. You know, Manchester did not exactly flourish under Mayor Craig, did it? No, it was, it was a mess, unfortunately. Um, you walk down, you talk to the business owners downtown. Uh, you know, there was uh, essentially homeless. Uh, There was urine, feces, needles. Uh, The city went downhill and, in fact, elected a Republican mayor, Jay Rue, uh, who is turning that city around and working on it. But her leadership, she was such a weak mayor. And now, of course, she wants to be governor. uh, And that's not what we need for our state. Kelly Ayotte, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. And I'm I'm, I'm on your side. I'm glad you called uh, called out uh, Mara Healy. I wish more of our Massachusetts uh, people had called called her out. Thank you, Kelly Ayotte. I'm Howie Carter.